ladies and gentlemen, Hurricane Harvey is now officially a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained 130 mile per hour winds. So I would like to ask you again, if you are anywhere along the coast, and I would guess even 100 miles in, I would evacuate and get north if you can, because this is going to be a multiple day rain event. We're talking, this could last a week. We have two high pressure systems, which the models have been telling us will push this storm and keep it almost in place on the coast over Houston, San Antonio for a week. And so this is going to cause major problems. We are talking 40 inches of rain possible. The worst case estimates have seen 60 inches of rain possible. We're talking all the way up to Houston. Corpus Christi, if you are anywhere near these areas, I highly recommend you evacuate. Uh, remember the worst case situation, like you could be not seeing power and have massive flooding for days. Uh, you know, if you go north, stay with a friend, get a hotel, and it's not as bad, you know, then you might be out, you know, $102. or $2. Maybe if you can't afford that, then I will say tons of prayers for you here right now because I've been warning about this hurricane since Tuesday night. I've been warning about this multi-day rain event. And a lot of people are like, hey, it's just a Cat 3 hurricane, Cat 4 hurricane, no big deal. But it's a big deal and that this thing is going to stay over land for an extended period of time. So... You know, I have personal frustration where I have a lot of people that I love and some of my best friends, family in Houston, and I tried to convince them to leave, but they were like, hey, we've been through the worst storms. We'll survive this one. I just don't see a reason to take any chance. I live in Houston. I evacuated north last night at 9 p.m., and there was not a lot of traffic on the road. So we're looking at this thing making landfall about midnight, and I also want to remind people as Thor of Thor News has been doing a spectacular job, it was the second person last year to call Hurricane Matthew only minutes behind BP Earthwatch, and I would have beat him if I wasn't editing my videos. Uh, that I've been studying this for like four years, and I'm, I've been doing a really great job of it. And that when we have storms over the last two years, there's something going on called the pulse, where, as you can see on this map and it rotates you get like a heat pulse signature in Africa and then the heat pulse signature goes here along the coast along what I call the dragon spine the mountain range of America down into Mexico and then what happens is the storms get worse and it almost always happens at about midnight and so I would guess that at this point we could even see it hit category 5 right before it hits and that would just be deadly and devastating. And then some projections have this then moving over Texas for a while and then moving back out into the Gulf of Mexico. Okay? So, and then possibly re restrengthening again. So, I will keep you guys updated. Like, here's the, like, this is the what we're dealing with. Here's the madness that is going on. So, I will say prayers. And... You know, ask you guys again, and if this wasn't bad enough, there's a lot of rain, there's a low over by Florida. So this, you know, it's, it's a big situation. And heaven help us all, and heaven help all y'all. And, you know, I will stay on this story. I'm going to work on an edited video of all the professionals talking about the dangers involved and what is going on. But I want to reiterate one more time, Category 4 Hurricane. Harvey will now pretty much be stationary over Texas and possibly Louisiana for days. Okay? So, like, we'll do this run model run through, and I'll try to get back to work on the edited one. Although, with any major new developments, I will come back. And then we also have that low that's over by Florida is supposed to go up the East Coast. Now, these are all projected models. We don't know what's going to happen specifically, but I mean, this bad case scenario could get much worse. And I, I mean, I've been warning of this for months that the pattern that's been going on in the Pacific, which has put 20 million people 
displaced out of their homes in Asia due to floods, that pattern would shift to America. And I've made a prediction that we will see multiple hurricanes hit the United States this year. And I made that prediction months ago. And so now that the pattern has shifted, pretty much the first one comes and hits, you know, Texas at now cap four. So, you know, we be, you know, if we have another one on the heels within a week or two, this situation could get super ugly, super fast. And I've been imploring people to please give up fighting over political stupid shit, like whether it be sex, race, creed, politics, sexuality, man versus woman, whatever it is, we have to stop dividing and conquering ourselves and start working together as a team or, you know, or we're in trouble. United we stand, divided we fall and drown. So I love you guys. I appreciate it. My prayers are with everyone. So this is like what we're looking at now Saturday and see how Texas is still literally has some form of the storm a week from now on Friday. This is Friday. So it, it, storm still ha Thursday night. It still has some formation and wrap over Texas and all of Texas is going to see a lot of rain, I imagine, but the coastal and the southern areas are going to see record-breaking, catastrophic, deadly flooding. So it's not too late. Get out of there now if you can. And my prayers are with you if you decide to stay. And I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.